We Americans love us some big boar candy in that 45 ACP round. And the only thing that we possibly like more than a 45 caliber round is a concealable handgun that can pack a handful of those 45 caliber rounds in it. Enter two polymer frame handguns that are tearing up the retail market out there right now as far as concealable handguns go. Introduced in 2000, the Glock 36 has been a mainstay on the retail market for concealable handguns packing the 45 punch. Met with a ton of fanfare when it was released in 2012, the new kit on the block, the Springfield XDS, is doing really well in retail sales on its own. We loaded these two top sellers up with some 230 grain Arms Corps 45 caliber ammo and took them out to do battle with the dueling tree. We all took turns with both of these guns, firing off hundreds of rounds of our Arms Corps 45 caliber ammo. The one thing that was noticed out of everything was the fact that because Glock's design is so consistent and has been over the years, most of us were already comfortable shooting the Glock, whereas you had to kind of get yourself acclimated to shooting with the new Springfield XDS model. But once you got to where you were comfortable with the XDS, it fired off just as accurate and just as consistent as the Glock 36 did. Both guns ended up being very accurate and functioned almost flawlessly. Both guns only had one failure to feed all day long. Glocks have never been known for winning beauty contests, so we expected the XDS to come out on top there. However, the jury was still out on the aggressive checkering on the XDS and whether it offered any benefits. First off, just looking at the two, uh, looking at them, aesthetics, I think the XD is a nicer looking package. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's got a more modern look to it. Uh, to me, it doesn't feel bad in the hand. There's no question about it. The checkering has the appearance of being extremely aggressive, and it does imprint your hand a little bit. However, it's not overly aggressive. The check checkering is rounded. It just has the appearance of being uh, very aggressive. Uh, there's a pretty good... Uh, pattern on the grip handle itself that you can dig into. You can see what you grip it, you can see the checkering, you know, it's it's really aggressive. You, you're able to hold on to it, but it wants to slip and slide a little in your hand every now and then. Look the front it, fiber uh, optic sight on the XDS was a me, resounding thumbs up from the whole the crew. Hand. I like the sights. It's got fiber optic sights and it's got a Novak rear. It's got a really clean sight picture. I do like the front, the, the front fiber optic sight. Uh, it helps you to get a, a, a real quick sight picture. Uh, you know, get your get a good focus on that front sight to acquire your target and everything. Uh, I realize we're talking about concealed weapons here. However, the length of the grip on the Glock was definitely a plus for everybody. I wish it had a, a one, you know, that mag extension for just an extra round. Not so much for, for one more round, but just to, that extra little bit of grip. It's not it's not a deal breaker for me, but it would make it a little more comfortable. There's no uh, extended pinky grip on these these XDs, so it's it, you think you're going to get a little bit less of a grip on them, but I didn't really have a problem once I wrapped my other hand around it and could, could grab onto it. I did notice that the grip extension, um, it was nice. Um, I think there's a big misconception that people think that they need that to be able to shoot or grip the gun properly, and that's not the case. That's not what you're really gripping the gun with. It's these three fingers that are mostly controlling the gun along with your support hand, but it feels better. It feels better when you can grip it. The XDS, you just feel like when you're going to grip it that you're not, you're missing something. Uh, I think it's more psychological than anything else. And with a concealed handgun of this size carrying so few rounds, every round is important. XD holds five rounds, Glock holds six. Uh, so we did have that one extra round. This holds one more round. It holds one more. I mean, I know you've got the stopping power of 45, but you have one more bullet in here, five and six. So, unless you have one of the pipes. So that's gotta be an added benefit right there. And Todd had a couple of issues with the XDS. One was slide bite, the other was the slide not locking back, which is something that most of us actually experienced. It, it did tend to uh, get a little slide bite. It, it wanted to kind of bit me on the hand a little bit there with a uh, slide bite. Um, had a little trouble, uh, for me at least, it didn't want to lock back on the last round. I, I didn't feel like I was riding the uh, the uh, slide release. I, I felt like my thumb was in the right place. But uh, anyhow, shooting, shooting the gun, uh, I didn't like it as well as my initial impression of, of first holding it. Um, the Glock naturally uh, just feels natural in my hands. That's, that's what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Got a lot of time behind it. Um, I hit well with it, it functioned well, which which doesn't surprise me. And while the Glock 36 um, is a little bit larger than the, the XDS, there's some trickery going on here because it's deceiving. The Glock looks from a concealability standpoint much bigger. 
the height especially looks like it's bigger let me show you something that's very deceiving these guns are almost the exact same height you have only maybe an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch difference as far as the height of the gun yes the glock is longer but the glock is not near as big when you look at these two side by side the glock just have it has an initial appearance that it's much much larger and it's absolutely not from a thickness standpoint they're very very close uh, you can see from a consumability standpoint, you're probably not going to have much of an issue with either one of them. Um, there's no external controls or anything like that. It's just going to snag on anything. So from concealability, I'd say either one of these guns is probably equally strong. For polymer guns, both of these weapons come in about what you would expect for one of the nicer polymer guns on the market. The Glock comes in at $554 MSRP with the Springfield XDS coming in at $659 MSRP, about a hundred bucks more. Not so sure about that. You do get a nicer case. You do get a few more little toys and gadgets in the XDS box than you would in your normal standard Glock box. However, that hundred dollar difference kind of is surprising to me because Glock has the reputation where the XDS is building on theirs. The bottom line is, if you're a Glock guy, you're probably going to want to go with the Glock 36. However, if you've never fired either one of these handguns before, shoot both of them. You may be surprised which one you actually like. They're both very reliable, they're both very concealable, and both companies have an established reputation of taking care of their weapons and their customers.